All right, we got a brand new box. Let's see what's inside. Let's just delve right in. Brand new box. What did we get today? Xbox. Wireless headset. Let's go. What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be having a look at the Xbox wireless headset. Now this wireless headset was impossible to get anywhere else apart from Microsoft.com, so I got it like delivered to me because I honestly I couldn't find it at Big W, I couldn't find it at JB Hi-Fi, it was sold out like everywhere. It was about $149, and we're gonna find out if it's a worthwhile headset for anyone who's using an Xbox. Most of the time, because it's got the Xbox name on it, it's pretty much like great. So we're gonna find out. Specifically tailored for the Xbox. A couple of cool things, it's wireless and it has inbuilt LEDs, it has like two knobs that you could like change sound with. And it has a whole bunch of features, opening thing here that we just open there. And basically we can open the box like this now. Beautiful, love that. And this is the actual headset. And we're gonna check underneath this time because last time we didn't check underneath. So underneath, it comes with a Type-C cable. That's how big the cable is. Kind of not that big. And it comes with a whole bunch of instructions. And so that just says like how to get started, how to connect it all up. So it'll be following these instructions. Uh, it looks like you can connect it to your phone and your laptop too. And that's pretty much the box. I would say in terms of the actual box, it's really nicely built. Like the actual quality of it all. All right, let's have a look at this actual headset. I am excited. Wow. Look at that thing. This looks nice. All right, I've got lots to talk about. First thing that I noticed was the pads. The actual ear pads are like really squishy and they look like they feel amazing and can play for like hours and hours with. And like I said, it's got like the, the twisty knobs on the sides to control like the audio. So that's quite good, good for comfort. We have bendable flexibilities and the cushioning here is like really, really soft. This is like, like next level softness. Very, very good. It's expandable too. Good for headsets to be expandable. It tells you left and right on the actual cups. If you actually can see, it tells you left and right. And we have obviously a headset controller for talking into. So I don't know if you can see, but there's writing there to tell you what's what. So that is plus and minus for the audio on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, that I'm guessing would be like your headset talking into the mic. And there's also another green button there. I'm guessing that's to turn it on because I just heard a sound. I can hear it going off. It must be searching. I press this green button in. We press it in for another four seconds, it says. So one, two, three, four. And then we have a button on the actual Xbox Series S that we could have a look at. It's like a black button here next to the controller that we can press in for like a couple of seconds. Ah, and now it says headset is assigned. There we go, our headset is assigned and I can hear it really well. I'm not too sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start playing a game and just seeing what it's like for me. Interesting, okay. So there's like a, a white button there to show that it's connected. I have it. There we go. So we need to play around with some of these options here. So to have audio on, if you're ever stuck, all you do is you push this all the way up and now you can control audio this way. In terms of the actual comfort of like using these in real time, it feels very comfortable. 
feels very, very comfortable. I can definitely tell a difference straight away. Like the audio quality is like so much better than how it used to be. But I came from like the Steel Series Arctis ones. So this is great quality. These bloody birds, by the way. I can definitely feel like a difference in terms of the gameplay already. Like, it feels more immersive, if that hopefully makes sense. That it's like a lot more immersive for me to play this game right now. And there's a bit more control in terms of the audio and the dynamics. And it feels like way more immersive, the experience. There's definitely more bass when you're playing like the game. That's like one of the first things I'm noticing. Like you can hear things a lot more clearly as well. Which is quite cool. Oh crap, I'm getting ambushed right now, eh? So yeah, this is my, like my first hand experience with these headphones. Overall, it's pretty great. I love like the feel of them. They don't feel like too heavy overall. They feel really comfortable with like the lever and everything. They're quite solid. It was easy to connect in terms of, let's see if we can easily try and connect them to my phone and, and see if that works. So let's try and connect it to the phone and see if it connects quite easily. So I'm gonna go to my settings, gonna go to my Bluetooth, see if there's any other devices that could be connectable. Press in the green button for a couple of seconds. One, two, three, four. And you can already hear it, it's turned on. There we go, Xbox wireless headset. So that's pretty easy. We could have a listener like something, maybe watch like a YouTube video or something. That's very bassy. Wow. Wow, that's super bassy. Wow. Yeah, wow, the bass is very, very prominent in the mix. So something cool that I've just seen is I can actually control the equalization of the headphones on a different device using the Xbox equalizer. So I can actually change how it sounds. So if I want a heavier bass, it'll actually take effect. Make it sound like super bassy. So you can connect to two devices really, really easily, which is absolutely amazing. That's pretty sick that I can connect to two devices at once and just have that sort of effect. That's that's pretty next level stuff I, I like. And I also figured out that I could turn the Xbox on using this headset too. If I just press this green button down for like a couple of seconds, now that it's connected, it turns the Xbox on pretty much straight away, which is pretty amazing. On the actual headset, as you can see, there's a, a light there to show that the actual microphone's on, but there's a button that you can turn it off. Press this button here, it turns it off. If I want it back on, it turns it back on, as you can see. The only other thing that I seem to have missed is the type C connection. So it's right there. So you just connect it there if you want to charge these headphones. And there you go. That's how we charge these, these headphones. So overall, I would say that this Xbox wireless headset is pretty good. Pretty good. It does everything you need it to do. And it feels very comfortable. I could imagine using this for long periods of time during gameplay, during my two to three hour streams and everything like that. And overall, I love the controls. They've got the two control panels. You've got the audio on the side and there's EQ settings that you can use. Turns the Xbox on and off, on board. It's got everything you need. Also, this is adjustable, so that's quite cool. It's a, pretty much a 10 out of 10. Really nice build quality. There's nothing I can really fault about this headset. 
it's it's fantastic if you want to grab yourself one of these now you know all the little tips and tricks and everything you need to know about this headset if you guys like this type of content make sure that you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on the next episode see you guys then